Good day my little robins, it's me Beth, another week has passed which means you get another video from well me here on this channel and I am very excited about today's you know music video reaction. Today I am reacting to Pagan Fury, the song is Stormbringer. These guys are a folk metal band from Sweden and for those of you who don't know I am a massive Eurovision nerd and I heard that these guys entered like the Swedish Eurovision like uh, when they picked their entry competition but as far as I'm aware unfortunately they did not make it through to represent Sweden and I was actually asked by one of you guys in the comments if I would react to this song and I'm just like oh my god metal yes a kick-ass apparently female vocalist yes and Eurovision three of my favorite things so enough rambling if you want to support me and the channel you can by clicking the like to show me some love you can click subscribe because nothing's stopping you and tap that bell to be notified of when i upload enough rambling let's just dive straight into pagan fury let's press play okay Ooh. i like those <laughs> That's an outfit. <laughs> Her voice is wow. On like another level. How the hell did this not make it through to represent Sweden? I like the staging. This might have done really well in like Tel Aviv. Sweden, what were you thinking? You can afford to take a risk. Oh look, there's more of them now. Okay, I like it. Her voice, wow. Those things are kind of creepy though. It's about those people dressed up in those. I would have given this so many votes. Ugh. This would have been my winner. I would have spent all my paycheck just for this song to win. But that's still an outfit, those black feathers. Whoo! Might poke someone's eye out. I like it. <gasps> they took their masks off and now they're people! I really like this so much. Ugh. Okay, so that was Pagan Fury and Stormbringer. Like I said earlier, Sweden! What the hell were you thinking? Now, it's safe to say I could sit here and nerd out about Eurovision because I have been a massive fan of it, you know, for years. I first watched it in 2006 when Lordi won for Finland. And for me, there hasn't been like a good metal band enter Eurovision, you know, since Lordi. You've had a few, you know, alternative rock over the years, but they don't tend to do that well because it's Eurovision and only cheesy pop dance electric songs seem to win in recent years and it really upsets me because Sweden has a really good track record. I believe now, or they, I think they might be beating Ireland in the terms of how many times a country has won the competition. 
Sweden know the formula. They know exactly what to send to win. And I think this was this would have been different enough that people would have given them the points anyway because everybody loves Sweden. Enough about that. I really liked like the staging. And now I know what you're thinking. It's a folk metal band. But here's the thing with Eurovision. There are some rules you must follow. You can only have a max number of six people on stage, you know, at any time. I guess that makes sense because otherwise people would have like lots of people. And so there were five people in general. You had the vocalist and then you had like the four like dancers, creatures that were dancing around her. Also a thing about Eurovision is if a band enters Eurovision, even if I know last year and a couple of years in the past there have been bands and they've actually played the instruments on stage, like you've had the drums, the guitars, but instruments aren't played live at Eurovision. It's all like dubbed in. So it made sense to have the vocalist on stage and not the rest of the band because if you ever watch Eurovision and a band performs, those instruments are not being played. They are like miming or like lip syncing their instruments. Yeah, that's the Eurovision curse. So I think that's why more bands don't enter Eurovision and it kind of upsets me. Like, come on, I'm from England. We send shit acts every year who don't win. And then we get really angry when we don't win because we're like, we sent someone good, even though we always send, you know, crap acts. If we sent something like this, okay, we might not win because no one likes the UK at the minute, but we might get more points and make the second half, the first half of the table. We know what it's like to be on the second half. We want to be on the first half. That's the best half to be on. Oh, Eurovision, I am so excited. It'll be interesting to see, you know, what Sweden actually, you know, enters in Eurovision in May. I really hope, you know, that Pagan Fury, you know, aren't disheartened by this loss and they continue to make amazing music because, oh, her vocals were, like, one of a kind. Like I've already said in previous videos, Sweden and Europe have some of the best metal vocalists around, whether it be guys or girls, and this is no exception. I would love to hear more Pagan Fury in the future. If I had to give this video a rating out of 10, it is getting a 10 out of 10. Hashtag not sorry, not sorry. Hashtag no judgment. It had all the elements I like and I'm a massive Eurovision nerd. In the comments below, I'd love to hear you know, your guys' thoughts and opinions on the song, the video, or the band, the staging. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Sound off in the comments. I'm so happy someone requested this because, oh, I love Eurovision so much. And Sweden, they do send good acts. I'm not gonna lie, it's why they win a lot. The UK could take a note from their book. Or, oh, well, we've got Brexit, so we are screwed this year. Enough rambling, let's just end this video. If you want to support me and the channel, you can by clicking like to show me some love. Click my face right here to subscribe to the channel because nothing's stopping you. Oh, check out my last two videos right here, depending on what mood I'm in when I'm editing this. Oh, I had like phlegm in my mouth. I'm repping him today. Great band, great band, check them out. Like my sign says, keep listening to good music. I'm Beth. Goodbye.